guys, uh, Rachel Broughton here. I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to, to walk through um, a couple features of your board when you're using it uh, as a display for your teacher laptop. So I've just plugged in my teacher laptop into my panel. Uh, I plugged it in using both the HDMI cable to bring over the video and bring over the audio. And I also have plugged in my USB cable so that I've got touch capability on the board. I can control my teacher laptop by touching the board, uh, almost treating it like a mouse. When you plug in your teacher laptop, it is a plug and play situation. The moment you plug it in, it should go ahead and pull up your desktop where you can see it on the panel bars. Uh, so ViewSonic has multiple toolbars. Um, some of them have more functionality than others. When you are in your display mode, so I'm displaying my, my HDMI, I'm displaying my teacher laptop, uh, I have got access to one type of, of toolbar called the floating toolbar. You can access your floating toolbar wherever you see a little side uh, touch area with an arrow. So I see one of those on the side of my board here. I see one of those um, on the side of my board here. So if I touch one of those little arrows, it should bring up my floating toolbar, okay? Within that floating toolbar, you've got uh, several options. Um, we mentioned that you have a home button on your physical panel. You also have that same home button inside your floating toolbar. Mm -hmm.